Hello YouTube, Wes here checking in with a brand new video for you. Today we are doing a contest response for a new uh, vinyl community member here, MM's Vinyl Channel. Cool new channel, uh, young guy, uh, just getting into collecting, just started earlier this year I believe, uh, really heavily into uh, sort of classic rock, blues rock, blues, jazz, those kind of things. Uh, yeah, really, really interesting. Got real passionate, uh, real passionate about uh, collecting and, and 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 discovering music, and I'm really enjoying his channel. So I wanted to get in a video response here, and this is a uh, yeah video response for his celebrating his 100 subscribers contest. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. A couple questions here. Uh, the first question is a favorite jazz or fusion album. Um, he's been getting more and more into jazz recently and collecting those kind of things. And I tried to pick things that sort of I think maybe you haven't heard before to kind of make this a, a suggestion for you, think things you might want to check out. Um, so this first thing is kind of, it kind of fits into the fusion jazz category. Um, and that is Keith Jarrett's The Cone Concert. I don't know if you have heard this before. Um, the, the cover pretty much tells a story here. Keith Jarrett is a pianist, or a pianist, jazz pianist. Um, it's very free, it's very uh, improvisational. It, 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 this is just an incredible album, um, something that's great on a, on a late night when you just want to turn out the lights and put something on that's relaxing and calming and, and emotional. Um, yeah, this is, this, is, this is awesome. So if you haven't checked out Keith Jarrett, I definitely recommend checking him out. And this, uh, this Colon concert is a great place to start, probably his most well-known work. Um, yeah, kind of a plain cover here. I don't, don't think the interior of this one is too particularly interesting to look at either. Yeah, just a... There's one more photo of him in there, and then some uh, some track listings. It's really just one big performance meant to be listened to straight through. It's not really multiple tracks or multiple songs or anything, but just, yeah, just very, very calm, peaceful piano playing that's just really, uh, really improvisational, really excellent so yeah definitely check this out so that is my answer to your first question definitely a favorite of mine I have many favorites but that's definitely one of my favorites all right your second question has to do with the blues and blues rock genre definitely your I guess seems to be what you're most passionate about um, and that's something I'm not really big into even though I do have a collection of, of blues and blues rock kind of stuff it's something I enjoy it's just not my main my main passion but I um, I picked this one I don't think you've shown this one before so maybe uh, maybe this is something you might want to check out as well and that is the guess who with their album American Woman of course features the title track American Woman on it and uh, New Sugar Tonight, No Mother Nature is also was a big hit for them, uh, but this album is solid all the way through. It's not just those two hits. It's a, it's a great, great blues rock album. Uh, yeah, just awesome stuff here. And this is the Gatefold Edition. Uh, the first couple pressing of the pressings of this album were a Gatefold, so that's always nice if you can find the Gatefold Gatefold Edition of it. But yeah, it's just a great, great album. Um, guess who? American Woman. Canadian blues rock group there. Uh, so yeah, definitely check them out if you haven't already. I think you'll like it a lot. All right, your third question had to do with sort of an unknown or underrated album, and that's really difficult for me, and I've been here on YouTube watching and making videos for a long time now, having to do with, with you know, vinyl and, and uh, music in general, and I've seen a lot over the years, and you know, no matter how obscure you think something is, uh, somebody will, you know, you'll show something you think is really obscure, and somebody will, will say, "Oh yeah, I have that," or "I love that album," or, you know, "I remember that album when it came out," or whatever it is. So there's all, you know, there's, it, it's kind of difficult for me to pick out something that's really obscure. So I just went with something I thought. Um, I just went with something, again, I just picked something that I thought maybe you would like, maybe you hadn't heard before, um, and that is the Emerson, Lake, and Palmer album, Tarkus. 
definitely a favorite of mine. This fits into the prog rock category, if you haven't listened to Emerson, Lake, and Palmer before. Um, and this is one of their lesser known albums, like not really lesser known, but not, not one of their big, you know, bigger known albums, I guess you could say, uh, but just a killer, killer side A, the whole side A is the track Tarkus, and it's a you know, 20 plus minute long progressive rock masterpiece, and uh, definitely something everyone should hear, in my opinion. Go ahead and show you the, there's the gatefold on that one. Really interesting gatefold, really enjoyable. So yeah, you haven't really shown much prog rock, um, but I think, I think you got a good ear for, for music and you're, you're, you're diving into blues rock and jazz and uh, prog rock sort of incorporates those two things along with classical and other kinds of themes. So I think you'll really enjoy prog rock and uh, check this one out if you haven't. So that's my, that's my pick for that question. Okay, for, for question number four, you asked us to show a record that makes us happy, and that's a lot of a lot of records can fit into that category. And I thought about it for a minute, and I s decided to sort of narrow it down to uh, when I want something happy, I sort of look for a synth pop type album. That's kind of something I'm really into is is the you know, '80s synth pop kind of stuff. Um, so this is one I go to a lot just pull out just to have fun and dance around and enjoy myself uh, and that is the Thompson Twins album Into the Gap definitely a great synth pop album you got Dr. Doctor on here Hold Me Now um, Sisters of Mercy uh, a lot of other great deep tracks uh, the, the title track The Gap is is probably my favorite track on here uh, and it's, it's a lesser known uh, sort of deep track, but you also got uh, Day After Day, No Peace for the Wicked, oh, just killer, killer synth pop album here. So yeah, Thompson Twins Into the Gap was my pick for your uh, album that makes me happy. And this is something I go to a lot and pull out and enjoy. And it's uh, definitely something that makes me happy. Okay, so for question number five, you asked us to talk about our favorite thing about record collecting. Uh, for me, the favorite thing about record collecting is just the physicality of records themselves. It's, you know, the printing, the different designs of the cover art, the different designs of the packaging, uh, the, the vinyl record itself. It's just such an amazing thing where you can look at it and you can see, you know, a narrow, a narrow track and a wide track and, you know, okay, this song's going to be a longer song. This one's going to be more jammy. Um, you can kind of look at the patterns of the grooves in the track and you can kind of see uh, whether a song's going to be like really rhythmic. You look at like a dance record or a hip hop record and you see these, you know, these very, very symmetrical kind of patterns start showing up in the grooves of the record and you can just kind of tell, you can just see the, see the music and it's, it's just so, uh, such an awesome thing for me to be able to, to, to sort of see, see the music and, and mix that with the with the packaging and the artwork and, and the photography and whatever kind of other messaging the artist wants to include in the album and it's just sort of the ultimate thus far the ultimate sort of physical piece of art that represents music that we've had so far um, you know each each sort of music uh, music recording format has its pluses and minuses uh, none of them are as good as live music but the i get i just get so much enjoyment out of the physicality of vinyl and just just being able to hold it in my hands and and look at it and see as i said just see the tracks and see the the patterns in the grooves and you're literally looking at the sound in the grooves and it's just it's it's just awesome to me so that's that's what i love the most about collecting uh records is is just the physicality of it all. Okay, then you had two bonus questions. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to answer these. Uh, the first one, I'm doing this kind of blind, even though I've I think I've watched all your videos. I'm just gonna take a wild guess at this. I could cheat and go back and watch and figure it out, but um, I think uh, for your first bonus question, you asked what is your favorite band, Eminem's, MM's favorite band, or favorite group, or favorite artist. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it is Santana. Um, so yeah, there's my my MoFi, MoFi pressing of the debut. Um, 
I could be wrong. I do know you re you do really like Santana, but that was my guess for the first bonus question. And the second bonus question, you wanted us to talk about a genre of music that we are trying to get into. And at this point, I've experimented with a lot of different genres and I have pieces from all pretty much all different genres, I think. There's glaring holes. I'm not really into metal that much, even though I do have some metal. Um, I'm not really into really hardcore, harsh sounding stuff. There's some punk kind of stuff. Punk is really a tough genre for me. It's it's I really in, appreciate the the sort of the political message of punk music and the just the whole scene that surrounds punk music, but it's not something I feel like I fit into and I don't always appreciate the the musical side of things um, it can be very abrasive sounding uh, and and I struggle with that you know I I struggle with things that don't sound like music or, or singing that doesn't sound like they're actually trying to sound good uh, it, it's it's a tough genre for me so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose a uh, the genre I'm most interested in getting more into is punk, and I'm, I've been, like I said, I've been exploring it. I've been, you know, do, you know, the really basic stuff like the Clash and things like that. Um, I tried the Sex Pistols. I didn't really enjoy that at all. Um, there's some more industri the industrial side of punk that gets into more electronica kind of stuff. I do appreciate that uh, that kind of aspect of punk music. Um, uh, more melodic type things that I can I can really appreciate. Um, I do enjoy some of that stuff. So if anyone has any suggestions for punk music that I might enjoy, uh, might want to check out, let me know. So uh, that's going to do it for the MM's Vinyl uh, 100 Subscribers Contest. Congratulations on making that milestone. I know it's always a big deal uh, when we reach these milestones. Um, and I appreciate your channel. Enjoy your channel. Enjoy your passion for collecting. Enjoy uh, watching uh, the things you're collecting and, and hearing you talk about uh, what you're discovering out there. So thank you for that. Thank you all for watching this contest response. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, a great night, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.